Pepper says, are you ready to start decluttering? Because we are getting in this closet today. It is that time of the week again. It is time to declutter another section in Tyler's bedroom. And for the past two weeks, he has done an amazing job cleaning up everything off of his floor, letting go of items, putting things back where they belong because we already had an organizational foundation put into place, making it so much easier to clean up. Before today, we got to focus back into this closet because the closet got a little messy again and that's okay. We'll get it cleaned up in one episode because we already have some organization from when we cleaned it out from last year. So it shouldn't be too hard for Tyler to make decisions on what he's going to keep, what he's going to let go of, and putting those items back where they belong. All right, Ty, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, all right, go ahead and get in there. Oh, I know, we love that. Brandon gave us that for Christmas, huh? Move that, yeah, because we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna move that over. Ty, would you like to keep that little squishy elephant or would you like to let it go? Let it go. Let it go? All right. What do you think about that box over there? Oh yeah, totally. I need... Oh. What do you think we're going to do with that? Oh no, I have a cavity. <sighs> what do you think we're going to do with that? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh. Get rid of You want to get rid of that? Oh. Do you want to keep that or let it go? Let it go. Let it go? I think we have like another one of those too. Charmander. Charmander. Okay. Okay. Trash. Trash. Okay, for the shop, that's in the basement. So that goes in the basement for now, right? Yeah. And then what about these Pokemon cards? Fake. Oh, fake. So what are you going to do with them? That's a real one. This is a real one. Oh, what would you like to do with that? Uh, give it to somebody. Give it to somebody. Like That's nice. One. Oh, what size is that? Those are baseball. What size is that? There are two and a half. What size are you? Four. Or actually, no, not four. Three. You're three, so they're a little small. What do you think we should do with them? Get rid of them. Maybe give them to somebody who could use them, right? Someone can use them. Oh, yeah. no. Get in there. Oh! Get in there. Oh. <laughs> Get in there. There we go. And Leave that's for your shop. shop. What do you want to do with those Pokemon cards? Give it to people. Give it to people. And I must say, I am so proud of Tyler and how well he is doing since... Both of my boys have a mother who struggle with hoarding. It's very important for them to develop these skills, simple skills that you don't even think of, of grabbing something, seeing if it will fit them, if it doesn't fit them, and making that decision to keep it or to let it go. I actually was never taught that, and that's absolutely no disrespect to my parents whatsoever. They had no clue that their daughter was developing hoarding behaviors by nine, 10 years old. They just thought I'd be like every other kid and pick it up as I got older. I had shared how my mom as a little girl didn't really do a lot of cleaning, didn't do a lot of weekly chores. Her parents just let her be a kid and let her play. But as she got older, she learned very quickly how to clean and be tidy and neat because messes naturally stressed her out. If there was a lot of junk and clutter, it made her so anxious. So naturally, she learned how to clean up and she thought I probably would do the same thing, but I was quite the opposite. I found security in the messes. I found excitement with all this stuff all over the place. I found creativity the more things laying around. 
My mom had no idea that I was feeling this way and developing hoarding behaviors because if she did know, I'm sure she would have had me doing weekly chores and telling me how important it is to put things away and to let things go, which is exactly what I'm doing now with my boys because I'm very aware of those feelings that I had as a little girl and knowing what a big impact genetics and the way you were raised environmental has on hoarding disorder and its behaviors too. So that's why it's so important for my son to develop this. Look, all these shoes right here, he's letting go of. He was able to very logically look at them and say, hey, these are too small for me. We're going to let them go. We're developing those decision-making skills. We're strengthening our decluttering muscles. And we're letting him know that it is okay to declutter. It's okay to let things go. And it's okay to give things to other people if you outgrown it or if you don't enjoy it anymore. Even watching him go through the plushies and being able to let go of some of them, is just so heartwarming to me because I know for me when I was a little girl, you were not taking any of my plushies. <laughs> I would cry and be upset. But Tyler was able to definitely let some go. And it just makes me so proud and feel good about it. Now, moving on to his clothes, I think I'm ready to make a big decision here. <laughs> and that is the baby hangers. Uh, Tyler's clothes are still hung up by his baby hangers because I have an emotional attachment to him. But I think it's time to let them go. So. I'm going to be taking all the baby hangers out, putting regular hangers in, and I will be giving away all the baby hangers in this closet. Now, with that said, I do have some baby hangers in my sentimental baby bin that I'm keeping, and that is why I feel good and emotionally strong enough to let them go. Because when it comes to my hoarding disorder, I have to make these decisions emotionally and not logically. If I get rid of something that I'm not emotionally ready to let go of, I could regress. Because what would happen would be, I would feel this avalanche of anxiety come over my heart and that feeling of loss. So what I'll do is I would go back out and hoard more to fill that loss, to fill that void. It is my medication for my anxiety. It is my coping mechanism. That's what hoarding was. All right, Ty. So if you look at anything over here, like your games and stuff, is there anything that you'd like to let go of? No. No, that's okay. So now up on the top shelf, can you see that okay? Yeah. Okay, is there anything on the top shelf that you'd like to get rid of? What do you think? Do you need a stool? <laughs> he's, he's jumping. All right, let, let mommy get you a stool. Oh, all right, that's better. Now, is there anything that you want to let go of? I'm gonna let go of that. Oh, what can you make with that? Party. Ooh. Slime. Oh boy. What is that? I don't know. Colorful. And then squishy, squishy crystals. Oh, that is right up your alley, all that. Yeah, that <laughs> sports spin up there. Mommy's gonna pull it down to see what's in there, okay? And it was also equally important that I didn't force Tyler to declutter anything that he wasn't ready to let go of. He wanted to keep a lot of things that were in his toy cubby. And you know what? I'm okay with that because it's organized. And I never want him to feel forced to declutter because then that's going to add negative emotions to letting go. And I'm trying to make this to be as positive as an experience for him. That way, he's going to be associating decluttering with a positive experience so that he will continue to do it moving on. And he also has a decluttering basket in his closet so he can let go of something any time. And also, I found his stool. This stool normally stays in his closet. It got misplaced, but that's okay. It's back where it belongs now so that he can reach the stuff on the higher shelves. And now I so proudly get to show everyone Tyler's Tossy Tossy pile. 
this is what he's letting go of. It's it's a lot of stuff. And 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 mommy's very proud that she's letting go of the baby hangers. <laughs> Tyler had no problem, but it was a big leap for mommy. <laughs> but no, we're going to be, actually, a lot of this stuff, like the shoes, I want to put in the yard sale. I would love to have a yard sale in April. So we're going to get a box and put them in there. And some of the stuff we're gonna let go of, give away, and recycle as best as we can. And now we so happily present to you Tyler's new cleanly organized closet. It looks a thousand percent better. <laughs> and I have to admit, it was so much easier to do this because we had organized it in the beginning of last year. So it really helped reorganizing it so much quicker this time around. It was just a matter of just decluttering some things that he outgrew, letting go of things that he didn't want anymore. But putting it back together, it's really quick and easy. And I'm telling you, if you struggle with hoarding disorder, you can heal and recover in your hoarding too. Even if you don't have hoarding disorder, I hope that this encouraged you to declutter and organize too, because it really does feel so much better. It looks so much better. And I feel so much better because Tyler is proud of how good everything looks. And I just hope that this video has encouraged you to declutter and clean something today.